morning I'm in uh, Brighton, home. My hair looks, yeah, my hair's looking a fucking mess. Um, but uh, I'm in Brighton, and uh, in the late 70s, a very, very famous film was filmed in and around Brighton, right on the seafront, Quadrophenia. And you walk around, when I walk around Brighton, I see so many, uh, so many spots from the film. I thought it might be pretty cool to uh, do a little video where we could try and uh, capture some of the spots. You got uh, Phil Daniels was in this film, Leslie Ash. Um, his fucking name is now. Geezer from the Bill. You recognise him? Uh, and Ray Winston. Ray Winston's in this film. Uh, there's loads of others. I'm not a film mad mad film guy but this film is shit hot and uh, anyone who's into music, fashion, 1960s Britain, you got to love the film and uh, on one hand you got the mods, the other hand you got the rockers and they have a big battle in Brighton but it's not just about that, there's loads of things going on in the movie um, and you got to watch it, keep watching it, every time you watch it you think ah, you've got a different thing but I don't know, fuck knows, I'm rambling now. So yeah, hopefully we'll be able to see some of the, the spots from the film and show you this morning, so. I'm not really gonna try and recreate too many of the shots perfectly, but I think uh, one of the spots is like here, and uh, this is where Leslie Ash, Steph, she pulls up here. I think her name's Steph in the film, I can't remember, it's early. But like, she pulls up here and Jimmy comes here and then um, helps her off the bike. Yeah, just get down there, come on. Hi. What about this? Yeah, loads of Everyone scooters. Should... This is great. Great, brilliant. And then they come here, and then they start walking this in this direction, towards the camera, and uh, yeah, he's just trying to chat her up. You think he asked her something about the night before. Oh, that'll be telling or something. So, um, what happened to you last night? That'd be telling now, oh, wouldn't it? So, but yeah, this is where they pull up right here. Pretty cool. Okay, this is another famous spot from the film. This is now a sea life centre. Um, so if you want to come and look at the fishes, come here. In the movie, in the 70s, I don't know what this was, but they used the outside of this building here as, this is the nightclub what they go to on the first night in Brighton. They go to a nightclub, this is where we see Sting looking, pr looking pretty majestic, dancing, he looks pretty cool. Jimmy jumps off uh, the balcony um, into the crowd, look there's like a fucking, I don't know, crowd surfing or whatever, the bouncers are trying to get him. He actually starts dancing with Steph doesn't he, and then she sort of pies him off. He goes and has a has a bit of a tantrum, goes upstairs, tries to show off, and the banks just sling him out of those doors, and in the film, he comes out of those doors there. Get out and stay out! And then he, the camera pans around to the right, and he walks through that archway there, and off into the night. I think he ends up sleeping on the beach. Yeah, I can't get down there unfortunately. I might be able to later on maybe. Just a sea life centre. And uh, they fenced it off. But well, you never know. Can't get down there at the moment, but I might be able to later on or something. Fuck knows. But I ain't paying 30 quid. But there you go. Okay, so this is East Street, Brighton. So this is a really famous spot from the film. Um, this is the famous uh, street where the mods have a big row with the old bill. So it's all kicking off in this road. It's all kicking off in this road here, and then Jimmy says, quick, to get away from the police, and they run up this alley.
And it's through that doorway there. Jimmy and Steph. Well, if you've seen the film, you know what happens. Oh. 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 Come here. Come here. If you look at the door, they've actually sort of uh, boarded it up to a point. You can't, you can't actually open the door. Um, but there are a lot of like hearts with names in, so. I'm just wondering whether uh, other young couples have followed in their footsteps, to be honest. That might be why they boarded it up. Stop people getting it on behind there. I think there are better places to take your missus, I've got to be honest. I mean, it looks like people just use it to have piss now. Um, yeah, I mean, if I tried dragging a girl up here, I'd expect to get a fucking right hook, to be honest with you. You know, it's not every girl's dream, is it? But uh, no, talking shit now. Yeah, great part of the film. Really, really um, famous part of the film. It was filmed in this alley here, through that doorway. If you, if you in the film, if they, um, if you watch the film again, or well, next time you watch the film, you'll notice that they, when they go through this door. They're in the corner, just there, next to some steps, and that's where those steps lead. And when Jimmy thinks it's safe to go back out, he says he has a little look, little peek through that gap. Phil Daniels, little peek through that gap, looking this way, and he thinks, "Yep, yeah, we can sneak out now." But little does he know, there's old Bill waiting for him, and they arrest him. Finally, it's breakfast time. The marathon's in a, just there, in full flow. And uh, there's a lot of, seeing like a lot of different charities or like personal things that people have obviously felt motivated to go out and run. And like we've had like gay, I've seen gay pride, save the rhino, RSPCA, all these different, you know, Cancer research, all these different things. And a lot of these, a lot of these people are not—they're not athletes. They're not like um, super fucking fit, trained people. They're people that just have a passion about what you know, what they want to raise awareness or raise money for. And they're out here grafting, and I've got big, big respect 